What's up guys? What I thought I'd do is uh, take a moment here and show you around camp um, what my setup is and what I've got done um, since I've been at this, uh, this new piece of property. So I'm going to adjust the camera and just give you a tour. All right, first things first, I'm in the middle of the woods. All right, again, this is 70 something acres. There is an old logging road about 100 yards that way. Okay. And here is my tent. So, there was nothing here when I came here. So what I've got done is what I've got done. Uh, what I did, it's supposed to be in the 20s, mid-20s tonight. Um, this is a, a Walmart um, easy setup. Um, tent has those uh, extendable poles and all that nothing real fancy I put a tarp underneath to prevent that ground moisture and then what I did to try to help with the cold is I put um, military issue poncho liners on the top of the tent and I did that on uh, one on the front and then I did another one starting at the back with a large overlap in the middle and then i went over top of the whole tent and those poncho liners that i got tied down with my uh, terra nova adventure 2 trail tarp all right so my idea and thinking is that is insulation uh, good r value um, the main thing with winter t uh, camping is retaining heat and uh, we in modern society use insulation to retain that heat and so by putting those poncho liners and the tarp over top I've got some things to retain that heat. Heat rises so obviously I put the insulation at the top. No different than our house, right? Um, also uh, full disclosure, I do not have a wood stove, um, and this is not a cold weather tent, so I brought one of those Mr. Buddy heaters, okay? So I'll have a Mr. Buddy heater in the tent. Um, I have a cot and wool blankets. So let me open this up real quick. So you see I got a cot, and there is... Um, three twin wool blankets and a queen so it should be in good shape and then there's the mr. buddy heater and a beaver pelt and some leather and mittens for a project I was considering doing tonight all right um, right here in the front I had this uh, nice Y stick uh, didn't quite line up with where I wanted my ridge line for my tarp so I cut a green piece of hickory, wedged it between the two, did a little of uh, latching, and uh, made my tie off point where I wanted it. Did a slip knot with the extra. Used one of my forged uh, S-hooks. There we go, forged S-hook I made. All right, and put my candle lamp. And put light right out in front of my camp. Then I also, when I cut this, I intentionally made it long. So I had somewhere to hang my stuff. All right. So there is camp. Then all of this was covered in down old junk. Uh, trees, debris, everything. So I piled that up over here. And I've burnt about half of it. And that's going to be my firewood for the night. Then I just uh, cleared all this up. I was covered in vines and thorns. Cleared all that up. And tied off a little thing there for my backpack. That is just uh, mule tape I did in a loop. It's about a six foot piece. Then I used a green stick as a toggle. And went over the handhold of my backpack to just hang it up. And then over here, I just have my axe and my saw and a little single shot 22. My rascal, I've done a video on that. I have my uh, folding camping chair and table. 
set up. Um, my campfire is going and I've had to build all of this. This is the Keystone Fire uh, pit that I showed in the video. It took me uh, about two hours to build and collect the rocks and everything for that. And all my stuff set up. I uh, trimmed this up a little bit, cleaned it up, and had a nice place to hang my kooksas. So when I uh, make some coffee, or later tonight when I make chili, uh, I'll have that right there. Okay. Then um, I was lucky enough that this had an old homestead nearby, which is part of the reason I chose this spot. And the old homestead, the old fireplace, and the old rock foundation. Well, maybe later on we can do a uh, dugout shelter right there. Looks like a perfect spot for it. Uh, yep, we're gonna do that. So anyway, um, that is camp. I'm just showing you guys what's going on. Um, I took about an hour and just walked around on the property, got to familiar with some of the other area. Um, probably going to get started on dinner soon. So, just wanted to show you guys camp, show you what's going on, and uh, yeah, out here putting in some work, enjoying this beautiful creation God has made for us to enjoy. Um, great great place to unwind, clear the mind, get away from all the busyness of life, and just breathe. Good for our mental health. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. God bless.